Abraja's Nakvi fined $136 million over the firm's collapse and Fab posts a 19% jump in 2021 profit. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Arif Nakvi, the founder of defunct Abraj Group, has been fined nearly $136 million for his role in the private equity firm's 2019 collapse. He's also banned from the Dubai International Financial Center. The regulator says Nakvi personally proposed, orchestrated, authorized and executed actions that directly or indirectly misled and deceived investors. Nakvi is disputing the findings. First Abu Dhabi Bank posted a record 19% jump in 2021 full-year net profit to $3.4 billion, helped by the economic recovery from the pandemic. Fab saw solid trading performance and growth in its fee-generating business in the last year. Electronics giant Samsung has posted a record $232 billion in 2021 revenue. Operating profit reached $42.9 billion. The numbers were pushed by strong sales of memory chips and consumer electronics and higher margins in chip contract manufacturing. Edible oil major Adani Wilmar made its IPO debut today to raise $479 million on the Indian exchanges. It's the joint venture of Indian billionaire Gautam Adani's namesake group and Singapore-based Wilmar. Adani Wilmar will use the funds for new acquisitions and to reduce debt as the company hopes to become India's largest FMCG. Indian billionaire Anil Agarwal says his publicly listed metals and mining group Vedanta might spin off key businesses into separately listed companies. Details will be announced by March end. Agarwal is credited with turning a tiny scrap metal business into London headquartered Vedanta Resources. He and his family have a real-time net worth of $3.2 billion, according to Forbes. I'm Ramya Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.